What's up guys? We have another Cyrax kickstream today. Destruction of my own demons. Where he rants for like a long time. So, let's check it out. Needs to be spoken out on. And I mean it seriously needs to be spoken out on. Now let's put it this way. I know about you trolls trying to blow smoke up my ass. And that's all this is. Y'all dunk bucks blowing smoke up my fucking ass. Trying to scare me. Trying to make it look like y'all are tracking me. No you ain't. You guys ain't tracking me. You guys ain't showing up here. And guess what? Even if you do, you're going to be wasting your fucking time. You want to know why you'll be wasting your time? Because you're not going to get a fucking reaction out of me. None of you trolls are going to get a reaction out of me anymore. <laughs> I find it funny. I really do. I find it funny that you guys think you're going to get a reaction out of me when really you're not. And no, you're not. Y'all are just blowing smoke because you're bored as fuck. Well, here's an idea for you. How about you guys get off your lazy asses and get a fucking job? How about y'all do that? How about y'all stop dicking around on the fucking internet with no talent and actually get a real motherfucking job? I mean, I've got a job. And I'm working my job. Well, working to rebuild my job, that is. I'm currently working to rebuild the business that I had five years ago before I had to put my life on hold. Because you don't fuck moron trolls. And Marty, you're right out there with him, you fat fucking tug of art. Oh, by the way, Marty, you're a piece of fucking shit. Doing what you're doing, attacking people like that? You're a piece of fucking shit. You fucking using Israeli kids to fucking sit there, you know, sit there and exploit Israeli kids to make money? You're a fucking piece of shit. You really are. You're fucking trash. You're garbage. And like I said, y'all dumb fucks that are saying you're gonna show up. No, you're not. And even if you do, good fuck you up, because I'm not going to go downstairs and respond to you guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to act like y'all motherfuckers ain't even here. So, I mean, if anybody has a problem with me, guess what? I don't give a fuck. You trolls are nothing more than bored-ass losers sitting on your fucking asses. Oh, by the way, I know damn well that my lawyer, John Sin, did not get arrested. It's just you guys being fucking stupid and making shit up. Y'all are going around faking documents because you're bored as fuck. So yeah, I'm calling y'all's bluff. Y'all's little game, it's over. It ain't gonna work. And we all know that y'all did not really pay off the Akron PD. And you guys are not tracking my computer. I've checked. Because in case y'all didn't know. I have friends that are in IT. And they scanned my shit fully. And guess what? You guys ain't tracking me. I trust me. The motherfuckers that I know. When they go deep in this shit. To look at my shit. They go fucking deep. Deeper than you motherfucking wannabe IT guys could do. These guys have been doing it for 30 plus years, man. So trust me when I say, 
My shit's good. So I know damn well that y'all ain't fucking seen when I'm online. The only way you guys know if I'm online or not is can you check and see if I post something, bro. That's the only way you guys ever know. Is if I post something or if I make a video. That's how you guys know that I'm online. I'm not stupid. Now, for the fans that are wondering, am I actually going to be releasing any new music? Yeah, I will be. I'm also working on some other side projects as well, in secret, that y'all dumbass trolls ain't gonna fucking know about. Because it's gonna be distributed amongst the fans directly only to each and every fan. When's the next game stream? Uh, not sure, Max. That's actually a very good question. I'm not sure. But see, I know how you trolls operate. I've been studying you motherfuckers for a while. See, you guys go after people because you're fucking bored. What kind of music do I make? <laughs> Stick around for the next stream after this one and you'll find out. You'll see what I'm capable of. I can guarantee you that. But like I said, as for you dumbass fucking trolls thinking that you're phasing me, you ain't fooling nobody. You're a bunch of fucking losers. Only losers troll people. Only losers try to ruin lives. Any racing streams? Yes. Tomorrow's... I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up, Ashy. Uh, tomorrow I will be streaming the brand new Forza Motorsport coming out tomorrow on Game Pass. I will be streaming that live on here. That is going to be a thing. And for all y'all wondering, yes, I have been training and I have been practicing with some good friends of mine, including my boy Devin. Shout out Devin, what's good, brother? So yes, tomorrow there will be a Forza Motorsport stream, which I'm super excited about because it's the brand new one. I'm super hyped. Fucking love the Forza Motorsport series. Hell, I had number one for the original Xbox with the booklet. So that is going to be fun. Trust me, dude, I plan on doing that. I do have the software installed and I do have my rig running again. So I do plan on doing that for sure. At some point, I do plan on getting on iRacing for sure. Um, I've actually been meaning to do that. It's just I've had so much shit going on that I've not really had time to sit down because I'm always... You know, having to look over my shoulder and, you know, having to protect my family from all these fucking psychos, dude. Like, it, it fucking sucks being in the position that I'm in. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate the position that I'm in. So I'm doing something about it. And that's something I am doing about it with. Is I'm going to be ignoring the trolls, focusing on the fans, refocusing my career, refocusing all the project I wanted to do. So I am going to be refocusing all my stuff I've wanted to do. I am going to be refocusing that. And to Jasmine C. Spazzo, um, I am a little bit more calm. I'm glad that the case got thrown out. I'm super happy about that. That was a win for us. 
Bro, like I said, the battle isn't done yet. And honestly, I don't know if the battle ever will be done. But I can tell you this. That I'm going to keep fighting until the battle's won. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Mandy. Appreciate you. But like I said, I am going to be refocusing. I am working on some brand new artwork, by the way. Oh yeah, 100%. 100% they're still fucking around and doing dumb shit. Hell, they're talking about showing up here on between the 28th and the 1st and holding a protest against me. And it's like, okay, stand outside for five hours. I don't give a fuck. Not like I'm going to go out there anyway. I'm not stupid. Knock on the door. Don't care. Ooh, there we go. But like I said, this is the one misconception that people have about me that I want to put to rest. Okay? People think that I'm this bad guy. People think that I'm this evil person, right? But in all reality, I'm actually not. Oh, thank you, Mandy. I was going to take care of that myself, but uh, you know what? See, this is why, yo, shout out to Mandy A for being a badass mod, dude. Straight up. My mods, you guys don't get enough love or respect that you guys deserve, so shout out to all my mods, bro. Fucking love you guys. Yo, Joe, what's good? But yeah, the trolls are still fucking around and doing dumb shit. But like I said, you know, I want to refocus my career. And you're right, dude. I do love my niece and nephew. I love my nieces and my nephews, bro. Without a doubt, man. I love my nieces and nephews. That's family, bro. I love my family. But people have this misconception that I'm this weird, fucked up, creepy guy, but I'm actually not. Like, people think that I'm this evil person, but yet, nobody wants to, this is where I get confused at. People say I'm a bad person, but yet, when they talk to me and get to know me, they see that I'm not this weird, fucked up in the head person that people make me out to be. Like, you can, matter of fact, you can ask my mod Mandy. Mandy A will tell you that I'm literally the chillest motherfucker in the world. But yet, they don't want to see that. Because all these trolls, let me break it down for you guys. These trolls, they want to see me rage out. They get their kicks and their laughs from me raging out. And that me raging out is caused by them going after my friends. Going after my family. Attacking people I care about. Spreading lies and rumors about me that are not true. And making money off of my name and my face and my image. Yo, Nature Boy, what's good, man? Been a minute, bro. How you been, Nature Boy? What's good? It's been a while, bro. How you been, dude? Long time no see. Hell, dude, Nature Boy here can tell you that he's watched a few streams of mine, and man, this motherfucker right here chilled out and kicked it. This man right here, Nature Boy, can tell you that I'm one of the chillest motherfuckers that you could ever meet. How do trolls make money from your image? That's easy, dude. They go around making merch. They make uh, trading cards. They make um. 
merchandise like though they make action figures they do all kinds of shit these motherfuckers are out here making money off of my name and image making trading cards making you know action figures and all kinds of shit and yet I don't get to see any of that money and it's fucked That is true, actually. That is very true. All the monetized videos of me. That's very true. And there's been a few diss tracks. Which, honestly, I would admit some of the diss tracks are decent at best. I mean, hell, I'll admit, Young Fox, who was an artist who I battled a long time ago. Who used to be a fellow... Artists that I worked with a lot. Even his diss on me was better than half these trolls that are doing diss tracks on me. And Young Fox is an old school cat. And his diss against me was better than these trolls. By far. Sorry y'all was checking my messages. But... You know, this is what I'm saying, man. I want to turn all of this around. Which is why from now on, on this channel, there is going to be no trolls. I want to show y'all what the fuck I'm capable of doing when I'm not attacked. I want to show you guys the good, chill person that I can actually be when I'm not being attacked or, you know, gone after. I don't like being mad all the time. I don't like... And being angry. And for everybody out there wondering, am I getting help for all this shit? For, you know, like, am I going to therapy and stuff? And the answer is yes. I'm actually currently working on setting some shit up. It's just I had to deal with this fucking court case. And now I have to sit down, get money together. That way, when it comes to therapy, I can go back and forth without any kind of bullshit. Doing anything for Halloween? Actually, yes, I actually am working on some creepy artwork. I am actually working on some creepy ass digital artwork that I've done, and I also am re upping a brand new, well, brand new for you guys, but this is a project I started like about nine years ago. It was an idea I had for a clothing line called Urban Dead, where it's basically horror themed artwork. For clothing, and it's actually aimed at, you know, you know, my generation, the new generation, and basically people that are into horror films, and horror type artwork, and creepy artwork, so I am re-upping that idea, and going forward with the Urban Dead clothing line, which I'm super excited about, I've already got a few designs that I'm working on currently, so that is going to be a thing. Honestly, man, that could be a possibility. Yo, Brandy, welcome to the stream. Yo, Prophet Dot, what's up, man? Uh, Prophet, like I said, I'm not sure. Um, that is a very good possibility, considering the mental damage that the trolls have done to me. That is a very good possibility. Believe it or not, I actually was thinking about uh, re-signing up to do the uh, Seven Floors of Hell again this year, but unfortunately they're not doing it this year due to COVID. I actually ended up working at Seven Floors of Hell a few years ago, which I actually enjoyed. I enjoyed the Seven Floors of Hell. I loved working there. The people there were great. Had a very fun time. Absolutely loved it. Super, super fun time. The staff there was great to work with. My fellow co-workers were fucking awesome. I love them all to death. So, yeah. And hopefully next year, though, if you guys are in the Ohio area and they are doing the seven floors of hell, let me know. 
Because if they do do the seven fours of hell, I am re-signing up. I am reworking there throughout all of October next year. Like I said, they're not doing it this year for whatever reason. I'm not sure. I know with COVID happening and stuff, they're kind of taking things more serious. But I would love to work the seven fours of hell again. I had an absolute blast working for them this last time. Absolutely enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. So hopefully next year if you guys are in Ohio and you guys are at Seven Floors of Hell, hopefully I'll be working there that year. You know, hopefully I'll be doing that. Hopefully. Not saying I will, but hopefully. Because I would really love to do that again. Absolutely had a blast working at Seven Floors of Hell. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you have not been to Seven Floors of Hell yet, I highly, highly, highly recommend checking out Seven Floors of Hell, man. If you want a top of the notch scare fest, check them out. Oh, dude, honestly, man, when it comes to that shit, I don't delve into war like that. I don't delve into politics. But I can honestly say that I do hope and pray for the families that are being attacked and being affected. I do hope that they come out of this alive. Because what's happening to those people over there is not okay. Yeah. Hey, Nature Boy, he's doing an amazing job at falling asleep at his fucking podium. How do you think he got the nickname Sleepy Joe? Always falling asleep, fucking. But, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a while now, am I going to be releasing some new music? And the answer is yes, I will be. But, I know it's taking longer to do, but there's a reason. Because I'm working on making it to where the trolls cannot take my music anymore. I'm working on a way to monetize and copyright all my music so that anything I release will be under my name and they legally cannot touch it. What kind of genre do I make? Music wise, I do everything from hip hop, EDM and dubstep, uh, metalcore, I do fucking hip hop, I do all kinds of stuff. But my main genres are doing metal, hip hop, and EDM and dubstep music. My first album I ever did was actually a dubstep album. So, if you guys have not checked out my albums, go do so. Dude, massive shout out to all the, dude, like I said, man, massive shout out to all the families that are dealing with that shit. And not just over there, but the families over in Ukraine that are being affected still. Like, this whole war shit needs to stop, dude. And David Draymond, the vocalist of Disturbed, put it best when he said this. Maybe if we stopped looking at how different we are and started paying attention at how alike we are, maybe these wars wouldn't be going on. You know? What kind of wheels and pedals do I use for racing? I actually use the Logitech G920 pedals and wheel setup. I use a Logitech G920. 
absolutely good brand for entrance level. And even a lot of pros use the Logitech G920. And that's what I use. And for those of y'all wondering, do I have my gear shifter back? Yes, I do. That's back in working order. So, your boy can finally get those H shifter gears rolling on the old school cars. Love it. But, like I said, for me personally, I use the Logitech G920. Um, I do plan on upgrading to a direct drive system. Like, something like Thrustmaster or something like that. I do plan on upgrading at some point. But, for right now, I'm using the Logitech G920 just because that's what I'm more comfortable with. It's what I'm more familiar with. Thoughts on the 1 to 115 above wheel. Dude. That's all in preference. It depends on how much you want to spend on a wheel. Like if you want to get into sim racing seriously. Like I'm trying to get back into. Like if you want to take it seriously. Like if you take it seriously. And you want to put your money into it. Like really put it into it. Like I said. A Logitech G920, G29, those are great starter wheels for anybody starting out. That's what I started out on. Essentially, like, I do have my other one that I started out on, my arcade wheel, but that's not really starting. That just got me into the motion of what to do. But my first official wheel was actually, like I said, the one I use currently, which is my Logitech G920. Grand Turismo is good, I'll admit, you know, I'm not going to bash on Grand Turismo because I'm a fan of it as well. I've played Grand Turismo, dude. I've rocked Grand Turismo back in the day, bro. I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I've not played 6 or 7 yet. I have seen gameplay for 7, and I heard a lot of mixed reviews about 7. But for me, personally, I want to try it out for myself just to... You know, have my own take on it, you know? Yeah, no, you don't. I work in that scroll with a lot of drivers in the seat. Oh, trust me when I say, Jazz, there's a lot of really good wheels out there now, surprisingly. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, dude. Like, a lot of people that don't know, or if you guys did watch, I ended up doing a lot of Formula 1 2020 competition races, dude. And we were running 13, 14, 15, 20 laps a time, dude. And they weren't just like one race and you're done. No, it was like literally back to back to back to back races. And then those longer ones, when you're running 100, 150 laps, man, it takes it out of you, dude. It really can take it out of you, man. Because by the time I'm done, man, my ass is fucking numb as shit. My arms are fucking tired. So I get it, dude. <laughs> It's definitely worth it, though, man. It's definitely very much worth it. I absolutely love... You know, the competitive side of things. Uh, actually, a couple of years ago, back when Forza Motorsport 7 was really, really popping off at its peak, I actually ended up competing in the um, Outrun Open Formula Drift events. And, dude, doing those drift events was fun. Like, I love doing the Formula Drift events, whether it be through Horizon 4, Horizon 5, the Forza Motorsport Series. I absolutely love competing in the Formula Drift events. Um, and believe it or not, the Formula Drift events is actually what got me into doing rally racing through Dirt 2.0 and WRC 10 and all these other competitive sports. Like, learning how to drift actually really helped me prepare for doing rally stages and stuff like that because when 
you're on a rally stage, you're never staying straight at one particular moment. You're always, you know, having to get the car sideways to go around hairpins and different types of curves and, you know, constantly having to, you know, control that car on and off the throttle. So yeah, I do have a bit of a soft spot for rally racing for sure. Rest in peace to Ken Block. Straight up. R.I.P. Ken. And Colin McCray and all the other rally drivers that have passed. But mad, mad R.I.P. to Ken Block. The number 43 man. Rest in peace, bro. And if you guys do not know. If you guys don't know this. You guys can fact check me on this if you want. For all y'all out there that are fans of Hoonigan, just like I am, and, and for all y'all that were fans of Ken Block, just as much as I was, we finally did it, guys. April 3rd is officially Ken Block Day. Don't believe me? Look it up. April 3rd is officially... A national holiday. So that's a super fun, exciting thing that I actually just learned recently. And like I said, man, for everybody wanting me to do better, I do appreciate you guys, man. For all y'all out there that's saying, like, hey, you know, we just want you to do better. We want you to get help. Like I said, I am working on that. And, you know, hopefully, you know, over time, things will get better and progress. And that's what I want to do. I want to be better for you guys. Palestinians are those that live in Palestine, which is overseas in the Middle East. Yeah, Palestine is actually a country. And at first I thought it... Dude, I thought Palestine was a city, honestly, but it turns out that Palestine is actually its own country. I, like, I knew it was a place, but I didn't know whether it was a city or a country, but, hey, you learn something new every day, right? But like I said, man, I want to do better. I want to be better for you guys. And that's, like I said, that's why I'm setting up this therapy stuff to get help so that I can mentally be better for you guys. And so that I'm not always raging out and getting pissed. Like, as you guys can tell, I'm not getting... I'm very, very slow to get mad now. Like, I'm very slow to get pissed off now. It's super hard to, you know, get me pissed off now. Now it's just to the point to where it's like, you know, I'm trying to build myself back up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm working on building myself back up to where I was five, six years ago before I started getting bullied. Like, I'm slowly working on that every day. And yes, I am very much aware that my reputation has been tarnished because of everything that's gone on. But that's okay, you know. A tarnished reputation can still be fixed. It can still be rebuilt over time. And that's what I'm working on. Rebuilding myself. And fixing my reputation and showing people like, hey, this is not how I actually am. I'm not an angry person. I don't do that shit. That's not me. All the shit these people are doing online, it's all garbage. It's just them trying to get me mad for content. 
That's all it is. It's just them getting mad that I'm not giving them content. So they're doing stuff to make me rage out and, you know, do something stupid for content. It's honestly quite stupid. Which is why I'm not giving the trolls the satisfaction of raging out anymore and getting mad. They can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. I'm not getting mad anymore. I'm not. If they show up in my stream, my mods will take care of it. If they message me on Facebook, there's a block button. If they show up to my house, just don't answer the door and call the cops. Straight up. Like, I'm done giving them the attention that they crave so much. Because they're fucking desperate. And they're sad people that don't have a life. They're just, they're truly sad individuals that don't have a life. Honestly, I don't really pay attention to TikTok like that. I really don't. Like, I don't do TikTok like that. I used to, but I just... I don't follow trends like that. I never really have. Like, I don't follow that trend of doing TikTok shit. Like, I have nothing against it because I have friends that do TikTok and I myself at one point did TikTok, but I don't, I don't follow the trends of what other people are doing. Like, I go against the grain and I set my own trends and do my own thing. I don't follow what, you know, other people are, like, you know, going out of their way to do for views. Like, I don't follow that shit. Right? And, dude, like... And you know, and honestly, it's funny that you bring him up, dude. It's funny that you bring him up, man. Daniel Larson is one of the people that the trolls need to go after. I mean, good God. The guy punched a guy. The guy punched a freaking cop in the face. The guy is completely unhinged. And he seriously needs fucking help. Worse than what I did. I mean, dude, I swung at a dude with a baseball bat who showed up on my fucking property. All I did was swing a bat at a dude who showed up on my property after giving him a warning to leave. But Daniel Larson's over here punching cops in the face for whatever fucking reasons going around in his fucking head. Oh, I know. Like I said, I swung a bat at a dude and got off. Okay? The dude showed up to my house. I gave him a warning to leave. When he was on our property, I gave him a warning to leave. He did not. So I swung at him. And, you know, obviously I got arrested, blah, 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 blah. Yada yada, got out, all that shit. I mean, y'all know what happened. I ain't gotta explain it. It's all right there on the internet. Y'all know what the fuck happened. But like I said, you know, there's a difference between me and Daniel Larson. I gave dude a warning before I swung. Daniel Larson's over here fucking swinging all motherfuckers like... For what reason? The dude honestly needs to be locked up. That much I will say, he does need to be locked up. And if not locked up, he does need some... I'll be honest, if he doesn't get locked up, he needs some sort of psychiatric help. He really does. Like, he needs some sort of help to, you know, bring himself down off of that shit that he's doing. The dude is... Whew, cuckoo. 
Bro, for real. For real, dude, it is, man. Hell, with that face and that nose, man, you could turn his fucking face into a fucking birdhouse, bro. Have the little fucking bird perch be his nose, and his eyes and his mouth and shit be where they go in and out, man, for fucking real. Actually, better yet, and I know this is gonna sound fucked, but bro, and yeah, let's say he gets a girlfriend, right? Like, for a friend, we all know that's not gonna happen, but for the sake of argument, let's say he gets a girlfriend. She won't need to use his dick because she's got his fucking nose right there that can do the job. Hell, he could probably. Hey, having that long nose. He can actually do some shit with that, man. He can actually do some shit. He can stick his nose up her ass and the other one in the other hole, man. That 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 would take talent to do that, not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, that would take talent to do that, man. <laughs> but no, for real though, man. Like, all joking aside, bro, Daniel Larson does need fucking help, for real. Far worse than what I need. I just need anger management. Yo, what's up, man? Holy shit. <laughs> Things I never wanted to imagine. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, you show up here, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> like I said, man, you show up to this stream, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, for real. You're not wrong, dude. Hell, here's an idea. Hey, I, I got an idea. I got an idea. You can take Daniel Larson, take his nose, and you know that sport in the Olympics where you throw that thing down the ice and they go back and forth like that his nose can be used for that he's going back and forth back and forth like for real you could for real bro for real you probably could Bro, you can use this fucking nose as a fucking microphone stand for a microphone, I swear to God. I can tell you how, dude. I came prepared with paperwork. I had evidence on hand, ready to fucking go. That's how. Because I showed my lawyer the evidence that he wasn't planning on showing up. They then showed it to the prosecutor, and bam, done. Got thrown out. And that's fine, because I'm keeping my nose clean. I ain't about that shit. Like, I'm not going about shit like that no more. I'm staying out of the troll's way. I'm doing me, working on my own shit. You know, building my music back up to where it should be. Working on my artwork again. Um, I might start a YouTube channel. I don't know. Was that guy part of it? No, no, no. He was here on his own accord. He was here on the orders of CVG and all those guys. Which is fine. You know, it is what it is. But, point being, at the end of the day, man, we won that fucking case. That's all that matters is that I'm home, that I'm safe, that I'm not in jail, 
and then I won the case, and then I could start to rebuild my life back to the way that I wanted it this whole time. And that's what I'm slowly working on, is rebuilding my life. And he does seem like an extremist. Now, you want an extremist? Daniel Larson is an extremist, bro. Daniel Larson's a fucking extremist from hell. Hey, a win's a win, dude. It don't matter whether the case got thrown out or not. A win's a win, dude. It don't matter how it happens. A win's a win, my dude. Just saying. I don't go to jail. That's a win in my book, dude. For real. As long as I stay free and out of jail, that's a win for me, bro. That's a straight up win for me. Which is why I'm keeping my fucking nose clean and doing what I need to do to get my life back on track at this point. So there's that. Oh yeah, I've seen the threats he's made towards people. I've seen that shit. I don't know anybody that hasn't seen it. Uh, sorry man, I don't do... Uh, sorry man, I don't do interviews anymore. Like... Unless it's a good friend of mine that I know and trust personally, I don't do interviews like that. Like, if it's a very good friend of mine, like, if they're a very good personal friend of mine and I know them personally on that level, then yeah, I'll be down to do an interview with them because I know them personally. But... When it comes to random people interviewing me, I don't do interviews like that. Like, unless uh, you're from, like, an actual company, like, you know, like a radio station, or if you're from, like, you know, an actual, like, you're not, like, if you're an actual reporter, like, you know, what they do at, you know, music events, and you have reporters there and shit like that. That, those kind of interviews I'll do. Because they have a job to do. They're just doing their stuff. They're running press. That's fine. But as far as doing interviews from random people on the internet. I'm not about that shit dude. Because one thing I've noticed about people who do interviews with me. They love to take those interviews and twist them up. You know, they love to take those interviews and twist them up and, you know, make me look like shit, which is why I don't do them. I know, and that's what I'm doing. I'm literally waiting out the trolls. That's why I said I'm holding off on making that channel until all this shit dies down. I'm definitely waiting until the shit dies down to do that, for sure, which is probably only going to be, like, I'd say give or take a few months. What about Rumble? I actually do have a Rumble, or I made a Rumble a long time ago. I just don't know if I still have access to it. <laughs> but if I don't have access to that Rumble, I may just end up making a new one. But that is a very good idea. For me, dude, just getting my life back, dude. 
Like, that's my plan moving forward, is getting my life back on track, rebranding myself entirely, revamping everything to where the trolls can't mess with me anymore. Like, that's my plan going forward for right now, is to, you know, rebuild my life back up, show that I'm not about this garbage that they had me trapped in for all those years, and just really just getting back to my normal life that I had, before I even started YouTube, you know, working on getting my friendships back, working on, you know, keeping away from the trolls, acting like they don't exist, you know, all of that shit. I'm really working at that because I want to be able to get my life back to the way that it was five years ago. But yo, I'm going to end the stream right here. I'm going to set up for you guys for a music stream. So be ready for a dope ass cover show coming here in a few minutes. So if you're not already following me, be sure to do so. And yo, I fuck with Leafy is here, man. I fuck with Leafy. Leafy's here is... Dude, I fuck with Leafy is here, man. Man, y'all. Give me just a few minutes. I'll be right back. Because I'm about to set up for a music stream. And I'll catch you guys in just a little bit, man. So, yeah. Oh, and on a side note, I do have a gaming stream coming up here in just a little bit. After the music stream, I think you guys will really love it. Because I'm going to be playing an old school game that a lot of y'all from my generation might remember. For all y'all that grew up in the 2000s, early 2000s, around Cartoon Network and shit like that, y'all are going to remember this stream, or this game that I'm going to be streaming here in like a few hours or so but for now we gotta kick it do a music stream and get this shit rolling so yeah i'll catch y'all later man peace